Oh, it smells like garlic. Ugh. Why can't I stop smelling you? Hi, welcome to another fun filled, fun filled? Lovesy video where today um, I thought that it would be a good opportunity to sit on my bathroom floor and talk about um, plastic free razors. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, that's where they do that, the beauty community. You know when they always put the lipstick on and they go like this? That's why it's because of, it's kind of focusing. Look. Ooh, so, so professional. So, what's wrong with a razor that you use at home? Well, it's estimated that around 2 billion razors, disposable razors, get thrown away each year um, globally. So that is a lot of razors. Um, and I'm only really responsible for about 10% of those. So switching to a plastic free blade, oh, that's so good, blade swapping thingamabob is much better for the environment. And I can show you how to use it so it'll be much better for you as well. So the first thing you need to know really is how to put the blade in um, because without that you're not going to get that far. These are really easy and um, like quite good fun. That's just me. I'm a sad person. I'm going to show it, get quite close to the camera so I can show you how to do it. Let's see if I can hone in on it. Right. Twist the bottom. Top comes up. Ooh. Reminds me of a robot in some sort of movie. I can't think what movie though. Ooh. And then inside, you'll see there's a space for a, a blade to go right here. I'm gonna do that now, and I'm gonna do it without cutting myself. Ready? Oh, I'm just trying to do it on the camera, so it's quite difficult. Oh, there you go. Look, and then that goes in and blade goes down and you are ready to go. The next thing is how to shave with them. Now with the disposable plastic ones where there's like a million and two blades in there and all the plastic and the, the um, I don't know, that strip, which I'm not really sure what, what it does, but it, this, 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 the thing, because this is not exactly the same, um, uh, it will take a little bit of getting used to. These blades in here, are extremely sharp and they do not need pressure. So when you are um, starting to shave um, with these, you may try and um, do exactly the same thing that you did with your disposable razor and, and you know, kind of like I used to just press down and go for it. But with these ones, you've got to be a little bit slower and um, take your time and not put too much pressure. The good thing about the ones that we sell at Lovesea uk is that they are lightweight so um, you don't need to worry about um, like lifting slightly that you have to do with other um, uh, with with other metal razors so here's how we do it I'm not going to shave my legs in front of you because that would be a whole different video but what you need to do is do at, you, you don't want to do obviously if you put it on the skin like this it's not going to shave anything and if you put it too far down you you're going to end up cutting yourself they are super sharp so what you want to do is put it to a 30 degree 30 to 40 degree angle and then just you'll feel it and then just just oh it's doing my arms i don't want to shave my arms i don't want to shave my arms i'm going to do it like this just very very lightly just um just pull it across your skin um and put a tiny bit of pressure on if you're finding it's not not shaving enough the key to these um, are good good blades, and the blades that come with them, um, they will be good for a couple of shaves, but there are much better blades available out there. The reason I don't sell them at Lovesea is that I haven't found any that will save you money by me selling them, if that makes sense. So usually um, I just get them from like Holland and Barrett or something like that, and when I find a really good blade that I will set, that um, I will sell them. So like with any other razor, when you are using it, use lots of soap and, um, and as I say, go slowly. When you're finished with the razor, you may be, um, you can leave the blade in there, that's fine. I would just make sure that you clean it 
and dry it. Drying it being the most important thing because you will get, um, if you don't dry your razor, the same as the disposable ones, you notice you get little, little tiny bits of rust on them and you don't want that for an entire razor. So make sure it's dry and then leave it on the side and it will last you a lifetime, it will last you forever. So um, if you are done with the blade, just open it back out and take it out. Now, personally, I don't have a sharps box in my house. You might not either. So what I use, little tip, is um, the um, the herbs jars that you get at uh, like most supermarkets. They have two lids. So the, the, the first lid is like a shaky lid. And then, look, this used to have garlic granules in it. Um, and the second lid is like a spoon lid. And they are the perfect size to um, just when you're finished with your with your blade, they're the perfect size to just plonk it in. And then shut it up and keep it somewhere really high out of the reach of any children. When you're done and it's full or it's getting that way, um, every time you have a doctor's appointment or go to the pharmacy, take your little jar along and um, ask to um, plonk it in their sharps box. Um, and um, that, that has always worked for me. That's what that's what I used to do. I used to do a lot of crafting with with knives, and um, I always used to take it to the pharmacy, and it worked for me. So sometimes it might be necessary to take your razor with you, whether you want to, I don't know, um, shave your legs at work, or maybe you're just going away for the weekend, um, or you know, whatever it is, you don't want to carry around a very sharp razor um, around just floating around in the bag is the start of an episode of Casualty, pretty sure. Um, so that if you buy it from us at Loveseed, they do come with a case, um, which is really handy. Um, just plonk it in the case, and you, it, there's loads of space for spare blades if you're going away for quite a long time. Um, and I use this generally to keep out of um, the reach of my children. Um, so I keep it in the case and I keep it quite up high. So I guess that's all you really need to know about these razors. If you have any questions or anything that I haven't covered, um, if you're watching on a video, pop the question down below and I will get back to you or shoot me an email over. Um, if you go onto our website, um, www.lovesea.co.uk you can have a look at all of our products um, and this will be on the bathroom department um, so and there's also a contact form if you if you have any questions but for now thank you very much for watching and um, we will see you really soon